What on earth have you got? Not how we intended on starting today's video, but they had pizza in racetrack. So, good morning. These, right, when I you can't. get your fuel, this is, it's fuel station pizza, right? But it's actually unbelievable pizza. It's really, really Smell good. It. And these are $4 for two slices. That's a so joke. So they're two seventy nine each, or you get two for four dollars and nine cents or something. So it's so, like two dollars a slice. Yeah. So I got and you a massive. slightly less burnt piece, and I got me a burnt piece. Because you like it well done. Right, hang on. Look at it. It's a, it's genuinely good pizza. It's unreal. So like when you stop for fuel and you see like it, like it, well if you're stopping for fuel one go to a racetrack before you go anywhere else because the pizza is unbelievable and it's not just pizza they do you've had a hot dog from there yeah like and it's genuinely good pizza and it's we haven't had a slice yet on this trip we haven't oh you just throw it all over yourself oh yeah <laughs> great have you actually made a mess yeah mmm It tastes like a racetrack pizza and it's unreal. It's good pizza. Good amount of cheese, good amount of pepperoni, big enough slice. It's good pizza. Mm. And for $2 a slice, like, why don't all countries think about it? You go and get fuel, what would I really like to have while I'm getting fuel? Hot dog, pizza, drink. A slice of pizza Like would a be fountain great. drink or a slush. Maybe not a slush because England's cold, but. It's fantastic for people who are like on the go with like work. You know, like people who work on like out on the roads or in construction and stuff like that. Mm. Run in, get some fuel, and a cheeky slice of pizza. Camera's gonna fall off there. <gasps> Coffee secured. Stuck my finger in it as well because I had some sweetener and didn't have a stick, so my finger so is burnt. With their finger. So my finger's burnt. <laughs> right, just landed at Disney's boardwalk. Parked the car up. Gonna head in now. We literally just got out of the car and it started raining. So, yeah, not great. So that's one thing. But we're just gonna wander in, check it out quick in there, and then head to Hollywood Studios. I think we're gonna have quite a long day today, although this weather is not gonna be it's ideal. Really we were gonna walk from the boardwalk to yeah. Hollywood Studios, but it's kind of wet. It's started to, oh gosh, it's it's started really to immediately piss it down. <laughs> Look at this one, looking all Disneyfied for today. She's got a little date. Wow! Whoa! Okay. Uh, okay. Right, maybe we won't walk to Hollywood Studios right away. Oh my um, gosh. This has just ruined our plan entirely. It's really, it's really raining. It's raining a lot. And I didn't bring anything other than the sleeveless and shorts that <laughs> I have on today. I've got a hat, so um, I'm sorry. I love this little walk though. Going up to the board and things. I love the entrance there. Well, what are we going to do? Hopefully this is, just a, do. this is just a passing shower. What, what's the cloud saying? Okay, that one's pretty grey. Yeah, like it's blue over there. Who knows? We might get lucky. The rain mixed with aircon is <laughs> horrible. It's it. <laughs> it does smell good in here though. They're real good. I love this shop. Look at that. That's so cool. With the puppies. The art in here is just like, look, Sorcerer Mickey. That one. They're so good. Oh wow. Oh, I want that. Oh wow, yeah, I want that a lot. How do I get that? <laughs> it's got the swan in the background and everything. It's like one of my favorite views on earth. And they made a painting out of it. How do, how do I get this? <laughs> Can we get that on the plane? No? Maybe not. Oh wow, look at this, these little rooms. That's so nice. Beautiful. I think you'd have to be a real aerial fan to... Yeah. What would you do with that? Like having your bedroom? Look how big it is compared to Anne. <laughs> I mean, it looked like it wanted to rain, but now it's just another beautiful day at the boardwalk. I have so many, like when I'm working, I always watch videos of particularly like the Boardwalk Swan and Dolphin. There's a channel on YouTube called 4K WDW that just does like walkthroughs of like the resorts, the parks, all that stuff. And I find them really like relaxing as like background noise videos 
for when I'm sitting at home working. So to actually be standing here is really weird because I'm like, I see this place all the time, like in those videos. And now we're just like here walking around, taking pictures of it and stuff. And I'm like, it's, it's a bit weird. Like yeah, the crossover it's, it's... between like watching them on TV and then like actually standing here. Yeah. It's kind of blended a little bit. It's a bit strange. Anyway, we're doing our little walk to Hollywood Studios now. So just like underneath the bridge from the Swan and Dolphin, walk from here. It's like a five, 10 minute walk yes. to get to Hollywood Studios. And it's a really nice walk along the river. I feel like we talked about this the other day. We might have done in a previous video, can't remember. But we love doing this. So we're gonna walk over there. Then we think we're gonna get this boat back because we've never actually been on this boat from Hollywood Studios back to the boardwalk. No, we haven't. So maybe we'll try that out. But we have our lightning lane for Runaway Railway today yeah. after the chaos that happened in that other video where we didn't actually manage to get on it even though we queued for it for an hour and a half. <laughs> so we're gonna make the most of that today. I'm so excited, I feel like I'm even more excited now. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because they kind of gave us a teaser where we were able to watch like the preview for the ride, then see the ride, but not get <laughs> on the ride. So yeah. these things happen, it's not anybody's fault, you know, it is what it is. We're heading over there now and the rest of the day, we're not sure yet. We've still got things to do at Animal Kingdom. We still need to watch the fireworks at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. We still need to watch the fireworks at Epcot. We've got a whole Universal Day to do. So we've got loads of things in future videos, yes? And we've got to do soaring at Epcot as well. We How have we not? Done it yet. We've not done soaring yet. We've been here for this one of our favorite rides and just the way things have worked out, the way we've done stuff, we just haven't done soaring yet. We've been here for like <laughs> 10 days and not yet been on soaring, which is ridiculous. Sorry. What the hell is that? I have no idea what that is. It's the biggest flying beetle, it flies. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Funny looking thing. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go do that. We're gonna be out for a good few hours today. Yeah. Because we wanna make sure that we make the most of it, get lots of stuff done. We're gonna start with Hollywood Studios and this will probably be our last visit to Hollywood Studios on this particular trip. And then uh, see what happens. Look at this walk though. You know, this is one of our favorite. When we get home, we're gonna be like, oh. I we don't see. We've done this walk quite, okay, I'll literally just turn around and say to people, <laughs> I was going to say, no. <laughs> you don't normally see a lot of people doing this walk. No, you don't. It's not, this like, pathway is never busy. No. So, it's underrated. It is. Just do a, taking a little walk from Swan and Swan and Dolphin. Yeah, it is very much underrated and uh, one of our favourites actually and I like to walk along the edge and look in the water for fish and turtles oh. and crocs. Yeah, we're always, <laughs> whenever we're, we're at, Hannah's obsessed with crocs and alligators. So whenever there's water, she's got her eyes firmly on just trying to see crocodiles, even though we know that they're, what's the word, sedentary during the day. Like basically they only come out really early in the morning or like at dusk because it's too hot for them or whatever. I'm not an expert, but that's, I think, the gist of it. We've seen a couple in certain places during our Florida trips, but they are very, very rare and hard to find. Um, but Han loves looking for them anyway. Disney ducks, Disney, Disney ducks, Disney ducks, Disney ducks. I'd just like to share a little um, boyfriend hack. Have you if, you fin if you finish a drink or anything, just ask, just ask them to hold it for a second. I knew you'd have to and then they've got it. And now it's their problem. I know yours. That's actually... <laughs> I'm whatever, sorry. Whatever you do, don't throw anything no. on the ground. Especially in Disney World, but like anywhere in the world. Nothing makes me more mad. Like, oh, hold the trash. Trashies. <laughs> Can I have some water, please? Let's swipe you. No, that's not fair because you haven't got another hat. <laughs> well, of course I haven't. No! So I'm filming. And, it, ah! <laughs> and there it is, Hollywood Studios. It literally took us like five minutes. Yeah, and it's a lovely walk. Beautiful walk. Beautiful walk. Look at the skyliner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the sun's come out. I'm very warm. It was raining like two minutes ago. No. Just can't, can't keep up. Right, we're in. It's immediately, the sun came out and it's immediately sweaty. Yeah. But we're gonna bolt straight for Mickey and Minnie's the moment we get into the actual park. Straight there. Straight there. <laughs> right, we've never seen these before. Oh Look at these. Lounge flies. Are these new? Bo Peep. 
Woody. Look at Buzz's little backpack. And Buzz. The Buzz one's probably the coolest. I need Buzz. That's really cool. You've already got your eyes on the one at uh, the Riviera though, right? That's really cool. Look at the, the laser. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. That is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're new, or, but I've never seen those before. I've never seen them. They're sweet. In any of like, in World of Disney, in any of the parts. No. <laughs> Welcome aboard! Hey. We're ready for a relaxing ride around the park. Star Wars fans at all at all so but we've never been in here or seen any of it so we're just gonna have a little wonder we can appreciate it can't we yeah, like for sure what for, yeah of course it's still gonna be impressive yeah. I don't know like who anyone is or no. who's good and who's bad or any of that stuff but apologies for that we'll um, we we'll just we we'll just have a little walk through I mean the theming is pretty good though isn't it yeah. the whole area is huge though I was not expecting it to be this big. No, I thought it'd just be a bit like Avatar, where you just got the ride and. Yeah. But no, this is uh, this is pretty big. It's still going. Ah, uh, this is where the. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get flamed for not knowing what it's called. Rise of Resistance. No, not that. Uh, What's the name of the ship? Dark Vader. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it because you're exposing us as like what? real not Star Wars people. It is, isn't it? No, Darth Vader is the evil guy in the black suit. It's not the name of the ship. The Millennium Falcon. That's no, it. No right. Yeah, no, sorry. We're, uh, we're doing our best. We're more Harry Potter people. So uh, <laughs> Universal might be a little bit easier for yeah. us than this. Whoa! Oh, What's that thing? These, these, these are the horrible They're the stormtroopers. Their suits always look impeccably clean. They don't get in enough dirt. Okay, so update. We kind of got lost in here. <laughs> they are cool. The, sto the stormtroopers are cool, yeah. They scared me. It's, yeah. Um, it's just, it's really big. Like, it's easy to kind of lose your way a little bit. I'm kind of jealous that Avatar areas are this big to me. Yeah, let's make, Avatar, <laughs> let's make Avatar a little bigger, shall yeah. we? Although they do have the game coming out at Christmas. That's Remember? That's very exciting. Yeah. Right, so Mickey and Minnie's. Loved it. I loved it. A lot of fun. Nice little, uh, I think the kiddos would love that one. Yeah, like if you had kiddos. Um, we were saying that it, it is really good, but it's a very similar like mechanics to Remy's yeah. Ratatouille Adventure. But we prefer Remy's. I think Remy's uses the mechanics better. Yeah, Remy's is like it's a very similar thing where it like makes it feel like you're tilting and moving and falling and things. Yeah. But I think Remy's did a way better job of that. Yeah, I 
Like there's a couple of bits in uh, Runaway Railway that like are really good at that, but I think um, Remy's just slightly edges it for us. But still a great ride, like obviously we'd go on it again and do it again. It was good. I don't know if I'd queue more than an hour for it. No, absolutely not. No. Like, yeah. But we've said the same thing about Remy's. Yeah, true. Once you've done it, we're like, well, I wouldn't queue for like an hour and a half for it. I think there's two rides I would queue. Soaring, hadn't done it that trip. Yeah. Like, on a trip. And Avatar always. Yeah, Avatar. If there was no other option, like for a lightning lane. Yeah. And we just see it as like the $13, like, Yes, you've paid for park tickets and you shouldn't have to pay more money to get on the rides and stuff, but those three hours of our trip are way more valuable yeah. than like the $13 it costs to get on the ride. So we'd rather just pay it, go on the ride, have the experience and keep the time to be able to do like other things on the day. Yeah. If there was no option, I would queue for three hours for Avatar, no problem. Yeah. Okay, we just wanted to check out the corner where like Pizza Rizzo and Mama Melrose's and stuff is. It is like Mr. Morrow and stuff have been saying like they need to do something with this corner because it's really quiet. Such a lovely little light well, it used to be like you had like the Christmas shop and stuff, but they've like closed it all down, and now this is like the quietest corner of the park. Anyway, we now have what 12 minutes, 11 minutes till the Beauty and the Beast show. We're not sure we're gonna make this one, but we might have to wait an hour for the next one. So yeah. we're gonna try and haul ass across the park to uh, to try and get on it. Look at the water! Oh, oh yes. Look how fresh it looks. Oh, look at the duck. He looks like he's having the best time. It looks so cool in there. Oh, look at that. It looks so fresh. I would quite happily jump on in. Oh, it's making me want to get in the pool. We made it. With the, uh, at the expense of a lot more sweat. I'm now a lot hotter than I was five minutes ago, but we dashed across the park. And we made it. We invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Oh, oh, hi there, ma'am. Um, what's going on here then? Oh, okay. I'm surprised you haven't gotten here then because they're really sleepy. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would get him very dirty. <laughs> she's in her, as soon as there's plushies, she's in her element. Look at her, she's just having the best time. Do you want the uh, sully tail? Yeah. Look at her not picking him up because she knows the deal. <laughs> she knows if she picks him up, it's going to cost her $30. <laughs> He is cute though, you don't have him yet. <laughs> I still want one. He's so cool. Like Woody and Buzz. Reminds me of the scene in Toy Story 2 where there's like thousands of them on the shelf. They're wicked. I really like those uh, retro ones in the boxes as well, but the actual dolls inside are a little bit creepy. Look how cool he is. I'd want to get him out and play with him though. Can I press the buttons? Yeah. It's not a laser, it's a light beam. He didn't know he did that? No. Of course he does that. He's got... <laughs> I used to have one when I was a kid. He was just like that. Oh my gosh. And his wings used to pop out. Oh my gosh. The greatest refreshment on Disney property. <laughs> She's happy now. Yeah, of course. It's just so good, and it matches my magic band. Howdy, I'm Sheriff Woody. On behalf of all the toys, I'd like to give you a nice, big, and backyard welcome. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen him before. Oh my god. I think I might actually cry. I know there's not like a, like, obviously they've designed this for like younger children. So there's not like a load of stuff to do here. Like it's not no. the biggest part of the park, but it is one of the absolute coolest. Yeah. Like you can just walk around it for 10 minutes and the theming, the way they've done it, everything is immaculate. Like the old connects that make the fences, 
I used to have this stuff when I was a kid. It's so clever. Yeah. I do love this section. I love it. Look at Buzz's box. It's empty. Just guess where we eat. It's right there. It's right there. We're going to go and see it. <laughs> well, we've just done Hollywood Studios. We've finished now. I always hate leaving one of the parks knowing we're not coming back. Like, that's the end of yeah. Hollywood Studios now. So, we're going to go get on the boat. Uh, and head to, I think, Animal Kingdom? Yeah. Right, Animal Kingdom it is. We're gonna get copyright this, so we can't go in the video anyway. La 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 She's on a, an adventure now. No, obviously not. They've got feet on the ground. <laughs> you are something else, aren't you? I just want to touch the wall. You like the bricks? No, I just like touching them. This was the uh, when we went home last year. We came to the boardwalk, and this was our very last experience when we left Disney. <laughs> And I remember we got to the bottom of these stairs and we like turned around and like said goodbye to it and then walked up the stairs. It's just the saddest thing. Yeah, it actually is. We've decided this year that on our last day, we're not gonna, usually we like put the cases in the car and we go to the mall for like a few hours before we have to go to the airport. Yeah. And we've decided this time that no matter what, we're just gonna spend as much time in Disney as we can, yeah. either like at Disney Springs or something until we literally have to go to the airport. Yeah. And that's it. We're gonna Disneyfy ah! ourselves as much as possible until we have to get on the plane. And buy some extra pluses as well. Which hopefully we don't have to run for this year. <laughs> hey, what did you just sneak in there? Okay. You said a little something just about getting get some more plushies. The and just buy all the plushies before we go home. Oh, right. So, slight change of plan. Again. <laughs> and we've already filmed this once, saying we were going to do something different. And now we've changed it again. We've got racetrack slushies now. I've actually gone for the Sprite. You've gone for the original. And you're drinking a Red Bull at the same time, which I think is really weird. I'm hydrated. To be honest. Change of plan. We were going to do Animal Kingdom, but we both decided that we don't really want to do uh, end two, two parks, parks in, one, in day. one day. It's just too much. So instead, we're going to go back to the villa, chill for a few hours, and then possibly go to Buffalo Wild Wings tonight for Monday Night Football. I think that's the plan. And then we've got, <laughs> yeah. we've got Epcot tomorrow. Then we're going to do the Magic Kingdom firework. I think we'll do Epcot and maybe some of Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Yeah. But the, uh, what's it called? Mickey's Not So Scary is on three times this week. So that only leaves us today and Wednesday to do the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Yeah. So we're going to have to do those on Wednesday after the, ba the baseball game. So Wednesday's going to be a full on day. Wednesday. I've got some work to do tomorrow. So Han's going to do some exploring. So that's probably going to be quite a full on day. So we just thought today like, yeah. We've gone and ticked off Hollywood Studios. Let's go back to the house, get in the pool, enjoy the sun because it's going to be a really hot week it's and we're going to be out today. a lot this week anyway. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy the pool, make the most of that, then go out for the football tonight, back to Buffalo Wild Wings because Pam really wants to do that one more time before we go home. Uh, so that's the plan and hopefully the plan doesn't change again. But like, you shouldn't be too strict with your plans on holiday anyway. No. You know, because that's the whole point. Like, you can call an audible whenever you feel like it. So. We're calling an audible and uh, heading back to the house. Can I just say, what is going on with my sauce? Why? Is it that? Well, that's the Sprite. It looks rank. Right, you chose the Sprite. Don't be looking at my blue raspberry now. Yeah, see, I knew this is what was going to happen because she's chosen something else. And now the one that she really wants is my one. Oh. A blue one. Also, I just took the wrong exit. So, um, Oh my god! Yeah, we're going the wrong way down I-4 now. Um, which is fine, you know, um, but... You're such a donut! Yeah, you wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't told you though, so like, honesty in a relationship is everything. <laughs> Let's spend more time on I-4 than we need to. You're such a wazoo! It's kind of been one of those days, but as you can see, this is not Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> it's not even close to Buffalo it's Wild Wings. not at all. So we're not doing that now. Uh, we decided... It wasn't me. Anyway, we decided we were gonna to come to Wilderness Lodge and because when we were here the other night, it was dark by the time we got here and also like really wet and rainy. So we decided we wanna come back here for an evening and have dinner at Gaysa Point, which is the kind of like, what would you call it? Like the 
outdoorsy. It's got yeah, like it's, got, it's down by the. It's got the sort of, sickest view of the water unreal. and stuff. Yeah, like and overlooking the water, overlooking the lake. And they had the highlights on the other night while we were down there. I think it's kind of a sports bar. Like yeah, it has like picky foodie bits down but it's there. It's like cozy. It's o it's all open, but it's still got that cozy feel to it. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna have a little walk around Wilderness Lodge because we love it here, and it looks so good at night as well. Like you can even see it in the background with like the lights and stuff. But like the actual hotel, look at that. Unreal. Beautiful. Um, this one has really grown on us. Like it's become one of our absolute favorite resorts. Yeah. We love Whispering Canyon, we love Gaysa Point, and it's just one of the nicest places to walk around in the day or the night. So we're gonna do that now, and then we're gonna eat when the football comes on in about so 45 excited. minutes. Yeah. Um, plan changed again, sorry about that, but today's been it's been a bit like that today we've just kind of you know but i said to him like when you're on holiday the plan changes you know like you go with the wind <laughs> i guess it's so quiet isn't it like the sounds of the crickets it's so peaceful it's still like warm i do think if i could stay anywhere it might be here and not riviera no i think here first i think here this would be it's more of a this, I guess, I think this would feel more like a Disney experience. Yeah, that's true. Whereas the Riviera is like a really nice hotel. Yeah. But like Wilderness Lodge, you're going to get like a like a real experience, I think. 100%. I would love to stay here. Maybe one day. We're going to have to uh, keep working hard on that graph. So, hey, if you want to like the video, that would really <laughs> help us to uh, keep working towards that dream. But um, yeah, maybe one day. That is just grand. You go through that little like entrance and this lobby is just huge. It's just so like open and like, you just go in and you're like, what? Yeah, it's like, massive. It's absolutely beautiful. And obviously you have Whispering Canyon over to the left, which if you haven't done and you like having a little bit of fun, then do it. But. If you like to eat in the peace and quiet, then don't go there for dinner. Yeah, it's, very, it's, very <laughs> it's very loud, busy, like boisterous kind yeah. of, but it's so fun. Yeah. You know me, I love the water. That one rocks. There you go. Not so comfy on the rocking. I like this one. A bit nice. Can I have a seat? Oh yeah. Two wild. Oh that's nice. Yeah. Careful with the guys. So, <laughs> I can sleep on it, can I? Right. Han's first thought whenever she touches anything remotely comfortable is like, could I fall asleep here? Ninety-nine percent of the time the answer for that is yes. Don't you just love like being in these places sometimes? Yeah. Like when when you're sitting in here you're like, I'm gonna appreciate having been here. Like and this this hotel in particular is one of those. Like, I think you can walk through like the Grand Floridian, the Contemporary, like places like that. Yeah. And they are nice hotels. Don't worry, they're just cutting me off the, uh, the screen there. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay, let's go. I wasn't, I wasn't saying anything important. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but like Wilderness Lodge and the Polynesian and the Riviera, I think. Yeah. Just so like, like, like so are, much character. I mean, they all have character, but yeah. I don't know. And sitting at Olivia's at Old Key West. Yeah. That definitely counts as well. Like that yeah. that's one of the best places to like soak it all in at Old Key West because you've got the view and the boats coming in and out. Yeah, like, like get Disney the boat people there. walking past the whole time and stuff. And it's good food, nice place to have lunch. Yeah. And it's really peaceful and like quiet. And this feels the same as well, unless you're sitting in Whispering Pantry. Yeah. But, but like the sound of the water. Yeah. Let's get outside. Look at this, like if you ever wanted a behind the scenes of like, I don't know, like what we do when we're not filming, the hand mostly does this. <laughs> <laughs> Loves a nap, but to be fair, you've done really well. How many naps have you had this holiday? Oh, no, naps. no naps. No naps. Because oh, no you actually, and why did you do that? Because I didn't want to miss a single second. <laughs> I don't even stay up, like. I'm actually really proud You of actually it. have, you've just been like so happy to be here, you've not even wanted to have a nap. That's big. That, that is big. That's Props that's to Disney lot. for that because Han loves a nap, but she loves Disney more than that, so. <laughs> it is glorious around here. 
it just it, it's weird because it's like it's got a Disney vibe to it, but you could also be a thousand miles from Disney World. It just transports you, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Like this is like it's so quiet. Yeah. All you can hear is like the little crickets and. Well, there's no one down here. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Watch out for the bears. Can you smell that? It's like bonfire, campfire smell. You know what they do? They do s'mores. S'mores, that's bonfires. right. Yes, they do. Imagine. Yes, they do. So that's Gator Point right there. And we're going to go around the long way and show you because it's right down on the water. It's actually one of the nicest, like, visual places to eat or just to have a drink, like, on Disney property because it's right on the, like, the backside of the lake by Magic Kingdom. So you've got like the contemporary, then on the other side of the contemporary is it, it's either Bay Lake or Seven Seas Lagoon, I can never remember which one. Yeah, so there's the contemporary. There. And that over there is the dock for this hotel. And then Gaysa Point is right here. This is just such a vibe. Like the fires are going, there's like a real campfirey yeah. smell in the air right now because they're doing s'mores for kids and you've got like the pools and stuff like uh, this this hotel is it's definitely up there in it and and we we actually didn't come here until last year like ever we hadn't been here because it's a little bit out the way like you've got like the magic kingdom loop that's got like the grand floridian contemporary and the polynesian on it but to get to this one it's a little bit further out the way and it's kind of isolated so bush there so we'd never been here but we booked Whispering Canyon came here and fell in love with it immediately yeah. like literally immediately yeah. and then after Whispering Canyon last time Han was like walking down the hallway just like in tears because of how good of a time she'd had here like but oh it's I feel like the camera's not quite doing it justice but I really wish it would because it's incredible. yeah this is one of my favorite like literal places where my feet are in the entire world like it's actually amazing water yes a water feature that looks good it does and we got the game on we just had the fireworks show in the background i showed you a little bit of that but literally if you walk down around that corner you can see it from like the fence by the water so you can watch the show you can come in here grab a honestly Gaysa point is like we're loving this uh, can i just say that the lighting makes you look absolutely spectacular this evening as well you look glorious it's really shining down on you you look amazing and we got the game on up here we're having a great time we just said we think this is going to be one of the ones when we get home where we're going to be like man i wish i was at Gaysa point watching the game right now like it's one of those where it's really like I can feel this is going to be a memorable one, but <laughs> this looks great. It's so good. Food looks amazing. Where did that go? <laughs> that was... I'm going to say it's the best burger I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Best beef burger I've ever had in my life. Well, it's bison. Oh. Same thing. So not beef. It's like a buffalo thing. I will... I'm... I mean, I'm confused now, but <laughs> anyway, this, no, it was no, a good no burger. Way, no way. Are you going to show them what a bison is? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure people know what a bison is. I didn't is. know what a bison was. <laughs> this is what I've just put in my stomach. Oh. Well, yeah, but you didn't eat the whole one. <laughs> the fur and the horns, I never did. No, it doesn't have fur and horns <laughs> in it, right. You yeah, just right. said it was the best burger you've ever had, <laughs> and then said it was yeah. <laughs> value for money. We were saying like those really that's good. a that's a it didn't look like a big plate of food but it was a big plate of food, of food. and it was like what 17 dollars each yeah. something so in terms of like value for money we were saying like well i mean if that was in a restaurant you'd probably pay twice as much for it so you know sitting outside you've got a little bit of music playing there's such an ambiance we love the ambiance game's still on you get a refillable drink. Han's got our friends. We're having a good time. Having a great time. Cozy, got the last video. Yeah. On. That's one mistake that we've made one too many times before. It's coming out in the evening yeah. into either an aircon restaurant or somewhere that is outside and not bring in like a hoodie. I don't mind wearing shorts, but like you need a hoodie sometimes. Yeah, it's crazy vibes. Yeah. So Han will be asleep in approximately 30 minutes. And that'll be the end of that.